When it comes to some of the scariest snakes in the world, can there be anything more terrifying than a massive green anaconda and an even bigger reticulated python? But are they fearsome monsters that need to be feared and killed? Or are they something that we can coexist with? In today's video, I enter again the cage of death where I'll be spending the next 12 hours with two of these massive monsters. Hello everyone, Dingo here and welcome to our second episode of The Cage of Death. I'm super, super pumped. Tonight, it's all about the biggest and most notorious constrictors on the planet. This guy over here, the reticulated python. But I'm not going to be spending the next 12 hours in a cage with this little guy. This is just a little baby, a yearling. I'm going to be spending it with a 6 meter, 20 foot reticulated python. I can already hear her breathing. She's behind me here. She's an albana. Look how beautiful, big and yellow she is. And a 4 meter, which is like a 14 foot green anaconda. That's right. Just the name anaconda just puts a bit of fear inside uh, the hearts of people around the world. So we're going to get straight into the enclosure now. I'm going to walk in there the next 12 hours. This is going to be my home. This is where I'm going to stay. And this is hopefully where I'm going to survive. Now you can come in for now. I'm actually not too worried about what's going to go down in the next while. This here is not a tame snake. Her name is Dot. She is a big green anaconda. Still get bigger, look at her now. She's turning towards me. It's okay, my Dotty. She has bitten me before, quite a few times, but, uh -uh, don't bite me now. Oh, I don't want to start off with 12 hours to go with a big bite from a green anaconda on my bicep. Not a chance. Now, these snakes, big constrictors, they haven't eaten these two in the last month and a half, two months, going on two months. They don't eat often. They eat a big meal, like me, a couple of times a year. And here she's starting to hiss as well. So she's a big, big green anaconda. Let me lift her up. She weighs in excess of about 100. Oh, she's looking like she's in a bounty mood. In excess of about 100 pounds. Look at that. I can't even lift her up off the ground easily. And it's a moving 100 pounds. So I'm not worried about her right now. She might just bite me. She's not big enough to eat me. But the only snake in the world that has been proven to eat adult human beings is the reticulated python. And that's going to be a problem. Not now, not to be defensive. They're getting used to this enclosure. So they're going to cruise around there, acclimatizing to the enclosure. But at one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, once they're used to this enclosure, it's got heat lamps in it. That's when the predatory drive might come out and that's when I might be in a whole world of trouble. And when we're talking dangerous snakes, nothing can be more dangerous in the non-venomous world than a massive reticulated path in 20 foot. This is all muscle and believe it or not, this snake is big enough, easily big enough to consume an adult human being and that's what I'm going to be most worried about. I can't move. I've got my hammock. I'm going to be lying out of my hammock, trying to catch up on a bit of admin, watching a little bit of Netflix. That's not my admin. Massive shout out to the Conright Group for building this enclosure. Last week, Nile Crocodile. This week, the two biggest constrictors in the world. We need a strong enclosure to make sure you're safe-ish and they safe as well. And that's what we've got here. Conright Group, massive shout out to you guys. We're gonna start getting into it. Our live stream starts in about an hour's time now. The sun is dipping, and I'm gonna be here for the next 12 hours. It's gonna hopefully get a bit cooler because it's been a hot day. These snakes are hot. It's been about 30 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's right up there, close to 100. The snakes are charged. The snakes are hungry. It's gonna be a long, nerve-wracking night where I don't expect to get much sleep. So I've been in here for about an hour now. We're about to start a live stream. And you might be wondering, Dingo, what is the point of doing this? Do you have a death wish? Not at all. You can see green anaconda right here. 
bit of the reticular path and just came up on top of my my mac there i'm loving my time so far the point of what we're doing is i want to show to people around the world that we can coexist with these animals if i can survive a night in a 20 by 6 foot enclosure how much more can we survive out there in the wild coexist with apex predators beautiful constrictors like this in indonesia south america oh she's right under my bum here hey, my girl I hope she doesn't get a little bit hungry later on tonight. We're about to get into live. We'll see you after the live. Good steady flow. Guys, here we go. You can see what's going on tonight. It's about, I don't know, what's the time now? It's eight o'clock. We've been in here for three hours. Bella keeps moving around. There she is. Now she's moving away, but she caught up on the bed. Um, you missed it. In our live stream, I'll show you the footage now. My hammock broke. I tried to get in it, went straight through. What a load of rubbish. Cracked my knee on the bottom. Fortunately, it didn't land on a snake. So, uh, Sean very kindly gave me the stretcher for the night. For way more comfortable than the hammock. Much better for the old back. But uh, Bella, you can just see her. She's like a kettle. And she's cruising around. The whole hammock's moving now. She's touching it. Yeah, she's on the chair. She's on the chair. The chair's touching the hammock. So she's a climber. So she keeps climbing up on a whole bunch of things. She climbed up early on. On my little desk there. She's going around. Going off like a kettle. Like a frog in a sock. And um, it just means that it's going to be really hard to sleep tonight. So in a moment, I'm going to turn these white lights off, get a little bit of, just cool it down a bit. I'll start watching a little bit of Netflix. I should not be saying Netflix. It's just too much advertising for the buggers. Hey, come on, Netflix, get out there. Give us some sponsorship or something. Then we'll clap your name out there. But um, so far, so good. Look at Bella climbing. She's a real climber on top of my chair. I moved it away because she's climbing right next to me. So as long as she doesn't climb up on me and start eating me tonight, it's all going to be good. But she's a beautiful, beautiful snake. What an incredible snake this snake is. And uh, it's an absolute privilege to be able to share a night with a big, beautiful albino reticulated python. One of my favorite snakes in all the world. Oh, she's on my leg. Where is she? There. Oh, she's coming up on the bed. There we go. Look at that. Oh, she's, oh yes. One cough massage going on here. How's this? Oh, she's coming up by the, by the starfish. That's making the starfish pucker. What are you doing? I'm trying to sleep now. Look at it, isn't she cool? Straight over my leg, there's my leg, I'm trying to move it. Look there, there's my sock. Oh, oh, she's on the starfish. Here she comes. Now, some people might be saying, Dingo, why would you want to do this? Uh, for me, as long as she gets off me and doesn't lie on top of me, this really is an absolute highlight for me. One of the most incredible experiences. Where do you get to experience spending a night with a big snake like this? Where is she here? And you can hear it. Oh my gosh, on yours. She's on my head. How cool. What an experience this is. Holy smokes. Look at this. It would be rather awkward if she did a poo now though. That would ruin things somewhat. And all I know, and she's climbed up, or if she bit me in the face, that would be a problem. But this is exactly what it's about. It's about coexisting with the reticulated python, the biggest snake on the planet. They get right up to 30 foot, Bella's sitting at 20 foot now. The record's 30. Can you imagine 30 foot? But even now, I mean, she's pushing my calf right down into the mattress. I don't have the biggest calves in the world. They've gone out to graze a little bit. But look at her. And off she goes. Isn't she cool? Go down. Oh, no. Go lie on the floor.
and what you might find. I might be nice and warm for her. So much she might think this is a great hot spot to spend the night off my pillow. Hello, my big girl. Isn't this cool how she just came up here on her own? And some people think, oh, these snakes, they don't like human beings. And she's not, she's not, she doesn't come to me and think, oh, I'll need company now. She's not looking for company. But she tolerates us. She doesn't mind us. And look how she climbs. Hey, who would have thought you could be chilling out with a reticulated python like this? One of the highlights of my entire, entire life. Woohoo! Is this the thumbnail or what? <laughs> Ooh, hello, my girl. She's a big snake. And that breathing is just, oh, the tongue flicks. And she's got such a big tongue. Even the tongue flick is absolutely amazing. What a snake. This is gonna be an awkward night. Oh, she's gonna fall off. And the power to feel her moving all over you here. The, the absolute power from these muscles. All of this here is just muscle. Up, go down. Look at the hot spot there. Isn't she a beautiful, peaceful snake? Tongue flicking, tongue flicking. Isn't it incredible? <laughs> One of the highlights of my entire life. Outside you, in this enclosure, in the cage of death. Frogs in the background. Bella all over my bed. Woohoo! How's about this? And to make it even better, the coffee's arrived. Teach, get in here, my babe. Bring us a cuppa. How's Bella? All on her own. Oh, great. Thank you. Once again, I don't think we're going to be getting too much sleep. It's quite hard to get sleep when you've got a 200 pound animal, probably about 220 pounds all over you. But beautiful, beautiful snake. And what I didn't realize is Dot the green anaconda, she's right down here as well. How's this? And this is what I was hoping for, to be surrounded by two of the great constrictors found on this magnificent blue ball that we call Earth. One of the, I mean, one of the greatest places to live, but it's just the only place to live, but it's such a privilege being able to share our Earth, share our planet with beautiful animals like this. I wouldn't want a planet without animals like this. Massive apex predators, massive constrictors, and you can see Bella now come over here. She's coming right off the bed, cruising along on her way. Wasn't that a beautiful encounter? I mean, honestly, it couldn't have gone better. Hey, lying here, chilling, chilling like a villain. You've got a big retic coming right over your head. You've got a green anaconda underneath you. I tell you, this is what dreams and memories are made of. We've had dots coming right up here now. Bill is on my bed, climbing. I don't know what I must move. Money bite me. Money bite me. Isn't she beautiful? Just sharing my player. Hey, big girl. Now, what a lot of people don't know about reticulate pythons, they have some of the worst teeth 
of any snake, including venomous snakes, in the world. Massive teeth, and they've got a whole bunch of them. I don't know how many. A hang of a lot in a big snake like this. Recurved teeth, which means they face backwards, and they serrate it. So on the front end, there's a sharp edge to it. And uh, this snake over here bit this finger accidentally. I was very lucky to still have the finger and not have massive, massive damage. But you can see here, look how it bumps there. This is as much as I can fold it now. I can still feel it somewhere. There she goes. Look at her climbing. Look at that power. Look at that strength climbing up there. And I thought she was just settling down, but she isn't. But a reticulated python bite, by far the worst python boa bites you can have in the world. If she gets you on a fleshy part like the guns, she'll cut you right down to the bone. Nerve damage, she could, she could get an artery, you could be in real trouble. I mean, it's really a shocking, awful bite. Uh, it is, you go in a hospital if you get bitten by a reticulated path, and that's if she just bites you, lets you go. If she bites and constricts, you're dead. She would kill me in less than a minute, this snake. So that's why Lance and the team are on standby. Anything goes wrong, they're in you. We're not taking this lightly. The risks are real, and we need to be able to move really, really quickly. The best way to get off is with alcohol or really warm water uh, in her face, then she should release. But you have to do that within about 30 seconds of her latching on. Um, so it can get a little bit scary. There she is there. As long as she's not by the twig and berries, I feel a lot more confident. Okay guys, it's uh, getting quite late now. And uh, it got quite cold earlier on. We got the fires going. That's warmed us up. The heat lamps are nice. You can see Bella. She is. She's on her under the heat lamp there. I've got smoke in my eyes. Though. It's getting quite uncomfortable. Not for the snakes. They are on the ground. The smoke. Ah! <coughs> I think I got the black lung, pop. <coughs> right in my eyes. Bella dot. They fine. Uh, keep climbing up onto the bed. So it's not the best thing for sleeping, but I'm gonna try and get a little bit of shut out just now. Um, it's getting nice and late, it's almost midnight. We might do a second live. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'm quite keen on getting a bit of sleep. But uh, so far, woohoo, so good. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you can see it. Look in the back there. We'll pick it up on the GoPro as well. Look at Bella right up on the roof. Absolutely magnificent snakes, reticulated pythons. She's gone right up over the GoPro. There's her body there. That's about, I mean, this enclosure is a good eight feet high at least. And she's gone right up there. Isn't it absolutely amazing? She's on the roof. This big girl is on the roof. Woohoohoohoohoo! What a snake! Oh no, Bella! Look at this, right next to my stretcher. Oh no! Bella, what are you doing? Oh, that is grotty. <laughs> oh no, look at it, it's still coming out. And this here is the poo of a reticulated python. She almost did it right on my pillow. Lawrence saved the day. Ah, 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 ah. Get away. <laughs> oh, look at it right here. Why did you have to do it here? There's my bed. It's literally underneath my bed. Holy smokes. And while she's doing that, she's climbing. There she climbs there. Multitasking. That's why females are so good at multitasking. Look at that. Oh, she's got more coming out. She hasn't eaten in months. What is she pooing at? Making space for her dinner later. 
Oh no. There's a bit. It's like a what's that stuff we ate in America? Chowder something? Not corn. No, it was a seafood. Clam chowder. I think. Oh, there's more coming out. What is going on here? I don't understand. Oh my sweet mother McCree, it's a log and a half. Oh, why next to the bed? She's got all this area there by dot. She's got all of this area over there. And she chooses to drop this right here. There it comes. Here's her sphincter. Her anus. That there is the anus part. There we see guys, green anaconda behind us. Below us, Bella continuing with her poo. It's a massive turd right here under my bed. Massive turd. I can't smell it at the moment. So far, it's been the most disturbing thing that's happened all night. Oh, there's more coming out. That is absolute, oh. Ugh. Maybe Lance wants to come in, pick it up and see what it's made out of. It looks like hair in there, but she honestly hasn't eaten in about a month and a half, two months. So I don't know where this is all coming from, but it's a big turd. Not a full-size turd, but look there, there's pieces everywhere of it. And while she's doing this, she's multitasking, she's still climbing up the wall. What a beautiful snake. Things have taken a turn for the worse. I don't know if you caught that one, but uh, I don't actually know what happened, but I guess I fell up my bed. Whew. Fortunately, didn't land on Dot or Bella, but um, it's about three o'clock in the morning now and uh, really, really tired. And uh, I actually fell asleep. I don't know for how long I fell asleep. But uh, yeah, about 10 past three in the morning and we've got another hour and 50 minutes to go. You can see it's starting. I don't know, maybe it's my imagination. It can't be getting lighter already. But uh, I'm counting down the minutes now until we can finish this challenge. It's been a long, long challenge. The snakes have been amazing. They've done really, really well, but I'm pretty tired. I want to get it over and done with now. Oh. Anyway, back to the bed. And guys, here we go. We've reached the magnificent five o'clock. We've got about 30 seconds to go. We've still got a good old hour and a bit until sun rises here in winter in South Africa. And what a night it's been with two of the most beautiful and notorious snakes on the planet, the reticulated python and, and the green anaconda. And I'm absolutely in love. I'm more in love now than I've ever been with these snakes. To see Bella come earlier, climb on my head, climb over my body, Dotty came up, she had a whole bunch of things right up next to my arm. She came onto my, my pillow during the live video. 
beautiful, beautiful snakes. And hopefully this video has helped you to understand that these are not evil, ugly monsters out to kill us. But something like the green anaconda has got one of the most fearsome reputations of any snake on the planet after the anaconda movie. But you can see most of the time, absolute puppy dogs that have no interest in human beings. Reticulated pythons, the only species of snake in the world that has been proven to eat adult human beings and is more interested in cruising around and climbing and even pooing next to me than actually having a go and eating me. I cannot wait for next week. We're getting in this cage of death with one of the most iconic species of snakes found in North America, the rattlesnake. It's a whole bunch of rattlers in here with me for 12 hours. Put your comments down below. What did you think of this video? What do you think about these beautiful snakes? And are you looking forward to next week's video with North American rattlesnakes? I can't wait. We'll see you there. Dingo out.